Okay. Hey everybody, it's Lone from Lone's Grass. This is a little uh, toy turtle that come out of my grandson's toy box. Somebody had asked me a while back ago about doing a turtle. Have I ever done a turtle? And then I saw um, uh, Dev Dev Draconia. She has um, a whole line of steampunk um, figures that she's done pendants uh, into pendants. And uh, so I saw that and was totally inspired. And so I thought I'll go ahead and do a go ahead and do a turtle. So a little sea tortoise, a little sea turtle. Super cute! I think he's adorable. Um, it's silver clay with silver gold and the green. And again, I put it away, so I'm just going to say it's the green. <laughs> Inca gold. I think, I don't think it's the yellow green one. I think it's just called green. But don't quote me on that. So, he's super cute. And again, I've done my little swirl stamp on him, but you can still see the details of his shell and his little flippers. Cute! Okay, so there's that. I did that over the weekend. And, you know, I'll put him on a... I'll finish him out and put him on a necklace. And then, I did this. This is an in-row box, and if you don't know what an in-row box is, just Google it. It's a, like, Japanese, um, uh, kind of a pre-pocket, before they had pockets. They would wear this on their sash of their kimono, and the box would hang down, and you'd keep your, you know, your medicines, or your, your seal, your wax seal inside and some of them are very elaborate and have multiple sections and stuff like that but years ago I had seen a, a tutorial on a blog about making a stone purse so I had these stones and I've got a couple of them that they're out of those um, you know you can get them at like Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever but bags of decorative rocks so that they're really, 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 really highly polished and glazed. That's not to say you can't do this with one that's not this, this glazed. Because I don't think the one she used was this glazed. But of course you can also do them on a bottle. The bottom of a bottle. Smaller bottle than that works better, trust me. As you'll see in a minute. <laughs> so... That's what I did on, I think, Saturday. So here's the way it goes. Like I said, this goes up under their sash. And this is the um, Netsuki bead. That's what it's called. That hangs over and kind of waits this from wanting to fall out, out of the sash. And then you've got the little beads that hold the lid down. The beads that hold it from falling off the string. And then just some decorative beads on the ends. And I can come back and do a tutorial on these little turquoise beads if anybody wants them. Super, super easy. So this one's made the same way. And then I did my spiral stamp into the top of it. So I'll show you the other side. And I can come back and do a tutorial, like I said, on, on doing this super, super easy even the mix of the clay was just super easy that's the primo effects all three of them are it's the copper no, i'm sorry the green is not the green is just um sculpey three that i just happen to have a scrap of and then the white is the white granite and i don't know let me see I don't know if you can see the granite uh, look. I won't say texture because it's as smooth as the rest of them. But it's got like little flecks in it that 
give it a grainy kind of look. So I wanted to get the gray, but they were out of it. So. Alright, so next. <laughs> I, I tried one on the, on the bottle that I just showed. And I used the Primo Accents in the Blue Glitter. I believe it's just what it's called. Blue Glitter. And in the... I think this is called what? Twinkle Twinkle Black Glitter. And Transparent. And I just happen to have a chunk sitting there. So, it, it has not been turned into a in real box, as you can see. I had a lot... I, I, what happened actually was I made my roll too thin so when I went to take it off the bottle I had a couple of incidents and I'll point them out to you I had a split right here which I repaired and then on the bottom part let's see split from here to here and what I did there was I filled the split with um, liquid Sculpey and rebaked it when you do this you have to bake it twice anyway and then right here I have a little spiral fracture right there that I fixed the same way so what you do is you bake the bottom part on the bottle take it off and then you make your little sleeve right here that that goes down inside and that's to hold you lid on of course. I'm going to tilt that and see if y'all can get a shot of that. How transparent. There we go. See the shadow of my fingers under there? Completely transparent. So instead of making it an in row box, what I decided to do is I took one of these, you know, battery powered candles, tea lights. And if I could turn the lights off and, and show you you can see it right here flickering through there. Turn the lid even around. How cool is that? So I'm going to make it a couple, some feet. You know, maybe put a little decorative trim of some sort around the edge of the lid to hide that where it doesn't fit very well. And I don't know why the bottle is... Well, Possibly not the same size up and down now that I look at it. It's an old Listerine, a vintage Listerine bottle. I should have thought about it twice before I even stuck it in the oven, but I didn't. I just went for it. <laughs> Again, super transparent. So, I'll definitely come back. I've got several tutorials that I need to come back and do. I've been asked by several people to do cer certain... Um, tutorials on different things so an in row box and possibly a vent a, a votive we can't put a real candle in it but a battery powered votive holder <laughs> imagine if more transparent was around the edges how cool would that be and of course it's a lot more see-through than than what you're seeing on camera because even the colored bits are a bit see-through It's pretty even with the lid off. So. Anyway, that's what I was playing with over the weekend. Again, you know, bad B-movie Saturday, as we have around here. Although Saturday was good. I picked good ones somehow on Saturday. Don't know how that happened, but Sunday was not quite as... Uh, was not quite as good. Sunday it did actually rain, so we didn't get... We didn't get anything done all weekend, sad as that is to say, but sometimes you just need to do nothing. I'm convinced of that. So, alright, playing around, that's what I've done. I'll be back with, uh, that's probably it for today. But I'll be back with some more tutorials coming up. I'll reach y'all later. Bye now.